guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am kusi okoye if this is your first time of seeing my face hi you are welcome please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by turning on your production bell that lets you know when i carry a new video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for stopping by again on my channel so now today's video is just simply all about my first time in a nigeria university i'll just be talking on the experience in general what's the experience getting to the university for the very first time the things that i didn't know about <laughs> the things you know just basically my experience and if you would love to you know hear the story and know everything i think you should keep on watching but please if you've not subscribed to my channel before we continue please kindly subscribe to my channel okay thank you so firstly if you don't know or if for some of you that don't know i am in the university of benin as at the time of filming this video yeah i'm in the university of benin and i'm in my 300 level all thanks to what as to what track <laughs> okay so guys let's get deep into the story so i got a mission in 2019 I'll be 2018 to resume 2019 i don't know i was the 2019 was it 2018 2019 that so i got to benin yeah and little did i know that the university of benin had um, two campuses at that time or have brother i didn't know that it have two campuses a Kewa campus and Ubo campus now if you're a student of the university of Benin, you know what i'm talking about and if you're not a student don't worry i have a video a detailed video and explanation about that on a video entirely i'll leave the link up here so you guys will just follow through and go and watch it if you want i'm a final student and final students they take their lectures and everything and in Ekewa campus with other um, departments and other course areas too. So I got to the university with my big luggage and at first I saw a church that was willing or they volunteered to help freshers to stay while they were looking for hostel space. So I got their contact from Facebook. My mom actually traveled with me to Benin. When we got to Benin with my auntie, then we went to the church. The place was, in fact, it was a no-go area. My mom was like, God forbid, a child cannot stay in this place. So we left and I heard that there was something called um, temporary accommodation happening at that moment in the main campus that was that's the work campus so getting to the place we were like no problem you're going to have a room and i got a room got a bed and i was there my mom left me i think she also left the other day the next day to lagos and i was crying like a baby because that's the first time i'm leaving the house In my head i'm like is this my life is this what is going to happen to me <laughs> But anyway, I overcome this. So back to the story. I got to the room. I arranged my things. If you see the way I set up, like I literally set up, I thought that would be my room for the year. That's that the one year. This is did I know. I was so naive to that point. This is a piece of advice to some of you that just want to get admission. For some of you that have gotten admission and have not yet resumed, make sure you find out things make sure you dig out enough things have enough information so you will not go to school a no like as, as a novice and don't even know anything do you understand that was my case i went to school a novice and i didn't know all these things i arranged all my things like i literally arranged everything put my best spread put my bed it was looking so beautiful other roommates to join me then there was one girl i met from Ekewa campus. Then she was asking all of us one by one, what course I study, what course I study, what course I study. I was like, fine as. Meanwhile, everyone around, everyone in the room was also 100 level fresh as like I was. So I don't think they really knew about this Ekewa world, like just like as, as I did, as I did not know. So the girl that was in that room, I think she was coming to see her friend or something. That was a 200 level student. 
and she told me she was asking me for welcome freshers welcome what level what course and i said fine and she was like ah this is not your campus right? i'm like hmm she was like this is not your campus that you're going to go to ekawa campus i was like really i didn't take it so serious because as at that time i've not done my um, what is this thing called i've not done my clearance my physical clearance i've not done it so i didn't take it too serious then when i was on my way to my um, physical clearance points. I met another girl and I asked her for directions to where education faculty is because I'm um, a fine art education student. I asked her for directions, then she was like, Don't worry, I can take you with me. She was so nice enough to actually walk with me to education faculty. Then she was asking me questions, she was like, What course? I'm like, Fine art. She's like, Well, you're not here. Yeah, in Ekema campus. So, me, that was the second time I was hearing that. Then Oh, not to me, I was just thinking that Ekawa campus is somewhere that is very close, let's say just nearby to the Bobo campus. I did not know anything. Like, I was a total novice, and that's not good. So, I was just checking out because my clearance date was not yet ready, but I was just trying to, you know, be familiar with the environment because, you know, that's my school. Just checking everything. That was why I wanted to go look for where the education faculty was. So it got to a point where, remember, I said in the beginning of this video, I said it was a temporary accommodation. So it got to a time where people were, the school authorities were like giving people their space, their permanent space. So you have to vacate the temporary room to, to your permanent room. Me, as a person that I've not even done clearance as at that time, I don't even know where Ekema campus is. Not to talk of having a room space. And my mom from the beginning was against off campus. Off campus is like, it's like a no-go area. That was not even an option. I must be in your stay room up to now. I'm sitting in the hotel. So, I didn't know all these things. Students were going gaga everywhere. was just, was just, in fact, it was a lot. I was going through stress luckily for me a school fellowship offered to accommodate some hundred level students that didn't have where to stay at their second at, at their secretariat so i went there with my friends i didn't carry all my load because remember i told you guys that i had a very big load a very big bag i dropped it in the mayor's mayor's room because the, the temporary accommodation room we were staying with for the boys who still the boys were staying in the girls who still we the girls were staying in boys hostel so by the time they started giving people space the boys were coming back to their hostel the girls were going to their hostel so i just left my bag in the mayor's room in the boys hostel so anytime i needed anything i would just call him and tell him please i'm coming inside don't let anybody be naked don't do this or don't do that one like guys that period was a lot for me then i would go take one or two things while i was still at the secretariat and at this point i was not even ready like my my physical clearance date has not even like gotten close my physical clearance was to be scheduled for march 29th of that 2019 and i was i resumed school that early february so all these things were happening, March has not even, Mar okay, I think it was already March, but the of March was not even coming close at all. Like, the period was so slow. So, it was now one day, I just decided to, like, just go before my clearance date. Let me just go, so that I would go to my campus. Other people were already, classes have started, and I'm still here in the in world campus, in the secretariat. I don't even know what is going on over there at Ekewa campus. So there was a day I just said, let me just go and do this clearance. I told God, you are going to go with me this month. And I went for my clearance and I was so scared. Unibem, trust them, they will do you anyhow. Go here, from here to here, from here to here. We're just walking from one place to another, from one place to another, until we finally settled in the auditorium. Then they were giving number and my number, I can't remember my exact number, but then I and one other girl were having a clashing number. I'm like, no, I cannot give up for this one. I had to fight for that number. I cannot be back. I had to fight for that number. She was just coming. So I don't even know how come she was having the same number as I was having. It was so confusing. 
People around me just supported me immediately. I'm like, God, this is your doing, you know. People around me supported me immediately. I told the girl, lecturer, I just came, what's going on? What's going on here? People were like, is this girl that is trying to take this girl's number? I'm like, I was just looking so innocent. <laughs> so the girl had to go to the back. And I was the number. So when it got to my turn, before it got to my turn, I was seeing how they were tearing people's file. Not not a document, so file, like the whole office file. They were tearing it into two. I'm like, Jesus, help me. Because number one is not here my dates. What if they tell me to either come back when it's my time or they tear my my I was just so scared. Then it got to my turn, I sat down. Like my heart was beating. The first thing the man told me was like, and why are you scared? I'm not a monster. Calm down. I'm like, okay, 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 this is going to go well. <laughs> so he started checking my documents. So they checking my document, checking. Then it now happened to me that because my work result, it was actually cancelled. Something happened in my secondary school. They cancelled everyone's literature. So in my jam, my literature was saying awaiting, but in my work, it's my literature was saying cancelled. So that was the issue there. So the man saw first saw my work and he saw cancelled. I didn't need literature for my course, so it was not a good thing. So it's all cancelled. Then he now took my jam and I saw literature awaiting. He now said, and that's like, like that could be could have been a big problem. Do you understand? He now saw it and was like, why, why, why is it here yeah, waiting? Why is it here yeah, cancelled? I was like, sir, 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 it was like, I beg, I beg, I beg, forget, forget, forget. And in my mind, I'm like, Jesus, I thank you because right before my eye, I saw a girl that they tore her foul into two like this and what was her pro her own problem the problem was that in her jump i think her name was s o l a shola s o l a then in our work her name was s h o l a so the only thing missing was that letter h because of that they tore her foul like i'm sure maybe she had original work results in there i'm sure maybe she had original jump results in there they tore it like this so i saw that happen and when it was my turn i saw that literature in my work was it was cancelled and literature in my in my jam was seen awaiting i was just already scared but then god turned it into a piece of cake for me that one i was so happy about it then less than 15 minutes i was done with my clearance and they were like go and do your biometrics that one i was so happy for it then so far i was done with my clearance i could proceed to pay my school because in my school you have to clear before you pay your school fees before you can even apply for a booster space so i i wanted to after my biometrics i was like okay i could go and pay my school fees <sighs> That was the first time I was opening a account because at that time I think I was 16 years old. Yes, I was 16 years old going to, to the university. So I opened a student's account. So the issue there I was not having was a BVN. My BVN, you were like, whether my BVN was not yet activated and stuff like that. Money was actually in my account, but then I could not use it because of the BVN. I could not withdraw. I could not do anything with my account, but money was in there. So I was just, in fact, it was just a, a big deal for me. It was, it was a mental, <laughs> that period was something else for me. So, after, okay, I think the period of paying my school fees here, I had to wait in the secretariat. I was waiting. So, in the course of waiting, that was after I've done my stack clearance, so this is me just wanting to pay my school fees, but then my bank was misbehaving or my BVN. In the course of wait, I was like, let me just go and look for where Ekewa campus is. Let me know where this campus is actually. Then I and one girl like that, we were explained back to the journey. Someone directed us on the directions that we, we could take. Do you know that? <laughs> I got to realize that we need or we needed two buses to get to Ekewa campus. Me that was just taking Ekewa campus was at the backyard of the dorm. Because <laughs> we even missed our way. Like, we got to, okay, after we got, because from Ubawa, you enter to Ringo, we got to Ringo, we entered the bus going to Ekewa campus, where they were quiet, we were silent. Then we now spoke, we like, Ekewa campus, deal. They were like, ah, something where you don't pass. Get down, enter another bus. We entered another bus, we were still silent. 
God. It's not going to be a movie for somebody. I'm telling you. I was not just sharp. I was so dull. <laughs> Good have mercy. Like, after we said, a clock up was there, we were like, ah, why are no toxins? We don't pass. That was the second time. Then the third time, we already wasted transport. We already wasted money. The third time, we wanted to enter the bus. We told the conductor, I beg, we don't know them. Boys don't believe us two times. We were still speaking English because you know, we were new to Benin City. So we were speaking English. I was not so friends in my pigeon at that time. I was like, sir, boss has already passed the place two times now. Please, I'm going to take a I don't want to miss. <laughs> so the man was so nice enough to actually not, he was so. Okay, was so alert when he, when we got to the gate. Was like this is your campus. He didn't even collect money for transport. Man was so nice. When we got to the Ekema campus, I was like, no, this cannot be it. It was so small. I was seeing primary school students running up and down. Thank God that that's not how Ekema campus is now. Cause at least they've renovated everywhere. There's now a huge signboard that this is Ekema campus. Now, but then that time, oh my God, it was not. He could not even know. Cha, fast forward to the story. I, my BVN at the end of the day, I was able to do it. That that period, in fact, was so 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 bad. I was able to do my BVN and I was able to now like go to Ekema campus. So I had to apply for space. I applied for space, but I didn't get a space. <laughs> when I got to Ekema campus, I met another temporary accommodation. Because in the world, they've already their temporary accommodation was already over, like people were already in their permanent rooms. But in Ekwa campus, there was still temporary accommodation. So I got a room, temporary accommodation. It was still boys who still get the girls and boys who stay, the boys and girls who stay. So I got a room with the boys who stay there. I actually learned my lesson when I got to Ekwa campus. I did not offload anything. I just put my bed on the floor. I no need to start arranging anything because of <laughs> because of what I did in the campus and. That was not going to be my hostel. So I just, I was just humble and just kept everything aside. Then, two days after I was at Ekara campus, I heard that people were saying going, going to their normal room. I'm like, my life. I didn't have a hostel space. They've not given me a hostel. I'm like, where will I stay? <laughs> Jesus. That period for me, I don't pray, I don't wish that period for my enemy because it was... I mean, I was 16 years old, last born, I've never been out of my house, I've never been out of the state, that was the first time I was going out, I was going to school and I thought everything would just flow normally for me, but it was so, 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 it was so bad, that period was so bad for me, but I just think that at the end of the day, I was able to survive, I met a girl that was like, she was caught, she would squat with me i mean i would squat with her yes she got a space i was like no problem i'll squat with her although it did not go as planned i was planning to squat with her for the one year but you know human beings human beings cannot always be that nice at the end of first semester she told me that she wanted me to leave her space that i should leave her space and go and buy space so second semester 100 level i had to buy space and just leave a space. Uh, yeah, that's all for my experience, my first time in the university. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I want to give you guys two advice. Make sure before you are going any university, before you be it federal, be it private, be it state, be it polytechnic, before you go to the school, before they bring you hundred, before they bring you admission, make sure you research. Don't be a novice like me. If not, your mental health is at stake in this one. Make sure you research, know things into two about that university. Know the hostel, know everything about your course, about the university. So you will not go to school and be looking dumb like I was looking. I just think that God was on my side and at the end of the day, I was able to overcome. I hope you enjoyed my little story. And yeah, please, if you don't subscribe to my channel, um... Please do subscribe, like this video, turn on the post bell, you know, all those things, plenty things. Yes, you get what I'm saying. And I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know, guys, if you like content like this. And let me also know your first time experience in the university. Please state it out in the comment section and let us interact.
Do you understand? With that being said, we've come to the end again, again, again. We've come to the end. I like to say this, we've come to the end. We've come to the end, finally, of this video. Bye, guys. Yeah.